All right, here we are, self-publishing a book online again, our 15th week in a row that we're chatting about self-publishing books online. And we're going over to another distributor known as Tableau, and that's T-A-B-L-O. Tableau is fairly interesting, and I've got some insights for you in today's podcast. So you're going to want to make sure that you stay tuned. Hey there, this is Dale, and I'm just tickled to death that you took a little bit of time out your day to spend a little bit of time with me to talk about my favorite things in self-publishing books. And, uh, you know, I don't say this enough, but I appreciate each and every single one of you that's taken a little bit of time out your day. So with that being said, we're on episode 76 of this freaking podcast. It means we've been going 76 weeks straight. So that's freaking awesome. But without any further bloviating, because we've got a lot of ground to cover today, When it comes to self-publishing books online, it can be so stinking overwhelming. There's so many options. We're not really sure which ones to go with. What's the pertinent information that we need to dive into to get started? You know, is this going to be okay for you or is this going to be okay for me? Well, that's why I'm kind of demystifying this process. And this is why we're working on our 15th straight episode of self-publishing a book online. The solution when it comes to publishing to various platforms can be found through what's called aggregate publishing. How an aggregate publisher works like this. You upload your content to a given platform that's an aggregate publisher. Then they send it out to various avenues to say places like Amazon, Apple, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, Google Play Books, so on and so forth rather than having to go to each and every single one of those dashboards and upload each one of them individually you can just do it through one and guess what your cpa is going to love you too at the end of the year because you won't have 50 different w9s to file with them and it's only just one that you're going to have to worry about we're going to be talking about aggregate publisher today known as tableau i'd heard about tableau a few years ago when the mcmillan publishing company known as pronoun went out of business Pronoun was an aggregate publisher, and it was great. I really loved it. It actually brought me in a fair chunk of change and was distributing some of my stuff over to places like Google Play Books when I couldn't do that. So um, I was looking for some solutions, and Tableau was one of them, but I had a little bit of a hang-up, and you're going to find out why I had a little bit of a hang-up in just a second here. That's not to say that Tableau's bad. Don't tune me out, because this is actually pretty good news. Full disclosure, I'm just curating information here. So don't shoot the messenger. I've never used any of this stuff. So anything I say is an opinion when I say, well, that's good or that's bad. It's just from the outside looking in that I'm saying this. I can say for sure, I can say for certain that the Alliance of Independent Authors, very reputable company, that is a nonprofit organization run by indie authors for indie authors, they fully vet different services and part of those services is the watchdog service and they have actually given tableau an excellent rating and they're even an ally partner so that speaks volumes to what they have and what they bring to the table just to kind of summarize before we jump into things if you listen to my episode about publish drive Tableau functions much in the same way, but there's some deviations. There's some differences than what they have with Publish Drive. So before we jump into all that, let's break down each one of the things they do. What they do not do is they do not distribute audiobooks. I'm just going to get that off the table, get that out the way. They don't deal with audiobooks whatsoever. They distribute ebooks and print books. Now, I'm going to save some of this stuff for last for instance we're going to talk about royalties and how it's all paid out a little bit later because they're all the same royalties so for ebook distribution and it appears for ebook and print book that they have 35 online bookstores and they also feed out to scores of other bookstores online but part of those bookstores include amazon Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, Booktopia, never heard of them before, Scribd, Microsoft. I thought that was pretty interesting. I'd never seen anybody distribute to Microsoft before. Overdrive and another one called Readings, and then they just say, and more, in quotations. 
I tried to track down their and more to find out what these other 35 different platforms were, but I couldn't find that information. Literally couldn't find it anywhere. And you're gonna find out why there was some issues that I had. The file types that they accept. It's just one file type, Word doc. Uh, if you're able to kind of save your stuff, say through Google Docs, or you're doing, say, through Kingsoft Office, any kind of open source software, you save it over to, say, DocX or Doc, you can upload it there. Here's what happens, though, is they have something that's called the Bookmaker. And I actually got to play around with it for just a little bit. And what you do is you drag and drop your thing on into the Bookmaker. You grab a specific type of interior. Now, these are pretty neat. The templates include traditional, classic, contemporary, modern, memoir, and poetry. And all of them look really freaking cool. It's fairly intuitive. So don't feel like you're gonna get overwhelmed at having to put your book together, but they have it all really, really simple. So there's a little bit of a barrier of entry. You could come to most other platforms with an EPUB, Mobi, or PDF and be ready to rock and roll. Not so much on Tableau. They want you to have your doc, you put it into their bookmaker, you work with their bookmaker, and then they'll go ahead and format it for you. Okay, I'll bite, that's fine. For all products across the board, you get free ISBNs. Now remember, whenever it's a free assigned ISBN, that means it's property of that company that's giving it to you. So that means on that imprint of that ISBN is going to be Tableau, not your name. Now, is there anything wrong with that? No, not, not really. I mean, if you don't mind that, that's fine. You're gonna be able to still sell books nonetheless, but just know that you're not gonna be able to take that same ISBN and publish it elsewhere. It stays with Tableau. It's kind of like me inviting you over here to cook lunch in my house, and you're allowed to use my pots and pans. When you get ready to leave, you can take your food with you, but you better leave my pots and pans, because I paid for those. So. You get to keep all rights and royalties, by the way, for this is for all products again. Now here's the catch. Here's the catch, and we'll, well, again, we'll get to the royalties towards the end. It is $99 per year to publish your ebook. Okay, $99 per year. Less than 10 bucks per month, you're having to pretty much distribute through there. And if we compare that to something like Publish Drive, it's about roughly the same amount. They do two titles for about $10. But that's just ebook alone. And there's a little bit of an asterisk I'm going to get to in just a little bit when it comes to some of this pricing per year. So don't don't tune out just yet. Really does get a little bit better. Print book is where it gets exciting, but ambiguous. They have it available through paperback and hardcover. I don't know if there's hardcover with jacket. They have no indication if it's hardcover with jacket. It's just hardcover. Okay, cool. For the paperback, it's published as an ebook and paperback. So when you do their subscription-based service, you're gonna get both of those iterations. So the nice thing is, if you wanna get ebook and paperback, you're just gonna go ahead and pay one fee. I'm gonna tell you what that fee is, and it's kinda like, huh, what? They get distribution to 40,000 bookstores and 30,000 libraries, including Amazon. I tried to dig down deeper and find out what were the other avenues, and it's not very clear. I couldn't even find any blog posts about this. Tableau, if you're watching this, full disclosure and transparency make all the difference in the world. If you've got 30,000 or 40,000 of these, where are they? Where is it going to? Okay, we need to kind of know this information because if there's one avenue that we're already publishing to through your platform, we decide that we want to publish elsewhere at the same time, we don't want to do duplicate publishing. So you've put us in a little bit of a predicament that we could possibly duplicate our publishing because you're not telling us where it's going to. And for the subscription fee, this is the part that kind of gets me scratching my head. It's $2.99 per year. So we went from $99 for an ebook to $2.99 per year for a paperback and ebook. So it essentially is $200 more to have a print book done through them. Now, Tableau shared a fun fact. They said 80% of authors choose that particular plan. <clears throat> All right, 
We'll go with that. Hardcover. Let's talk about hardcover. Okay. It's the same distribution as the paperback. Ambiguous. 40,000 different bookstores, 30,000 libraries, so on and so forth. Okay. It's $4.99 per year. But, okay, before you kind of go, oh, no, what the heck? We jumped 200 more dollars? Are you kidding me, Dale? What the heck happened here? Well, you get hardcover, you get paperback, and you get ebook. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's go just a little, little further down, down the path here. Let's talk about some of the miscellaneous things they have to offer. They have pre orders available that you can use. So if you want to do uh, any kind of pre orders for your ebook or your print book, you can do that. They have premium editing and proofreading services if you wish to use them. You don't have to. They also have free and premium book cover designs. I tried to get in to their free book cover design, but I ran into an issue. We're going to talk about that issue here in just a second here, probably a little more towards the end. And they offer discounts for bulk publishing. So um, if you want to, say, publish numerous books and you're looking at that high paywall of, say, $2.99 or $99, the more that you publish, the more they give you a bit of a discount. They said pretty much reach out to them and they would tell you. I think it said upwards of like 10% of a discount. So rather than spending $99 for an ebook, you could probably be spending $90. Here's a little bit of a kegger, okay? If you want to update your manuscript, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you $49 for print, and it's going to cost you $29 for ebook. And they essentially just said, it kind of came off as a way of like, we're going to penalize you if you don't get your manuscripts just right. So make sure that you're triple checking your stuff before you publish it. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's cool, I, I guess. You showed me. Um, I really wonder why they've got that put into place. I mean, maybe it's paying for the staffing hours. I don't know how much staffing hours is required for doing $29 or $49 worth of work. That's them. Okay, so here, let's talk about their payout method. Their royalties. This is, I had to just scour their whole page just to try to find what the royalties were. And it came down to this, and I just kind of was confused. It's 60% per sale. They made no indication of there being any real difference between ebook and print book other than for print book, you get the 60%. But here, here's the catch. You're going to take the retail price. You're going to subtract the print, printing and handling cost. And you're also going to take out the bookstore commission. So if somebody sells it through a bookstore, they're going to be taking that out. And that will be your royalty. Like the bookstore commission is going to be obviously the 40%. You're going to get the 60%. And what Tableau gets is just your yearly membership. Okay, cool. Awesome. You get quarterly payouts. Quarterly. Yeah. So that means every year is broke down into four quarters. And it goes three months at a time, obviously. January, February, March, and then April, May, June, and then July, August, September, and then October, November, December. It breaks down each of those quarters and you're paid out 60 to 90 days after the closeout of a quarter. Wow. That's a, that's a bit of a delay. Bit of a delay. And then add to that any bookstore sales that are made. That's 90 to 120 days, half a year after the close of a quarter before you see that payout. That's my cringe face. If you're listening to the podcast, you probably didn't see it. Let me go ahead and let me get a little closer. Yeah. I hear some people complain about 60 days for KDP. 120 days? Uh... Well, I'm going to weigh in on some of the pros and cons here of Tableau in just a moment. But I, will, of course, want to share a little bit of a mission for you. And I hope that you can hear me out on this one. Here, don't skip forward on your podcast. It would make the world of a difference if you just... Listen to me for just a moment. I want to positively impact your life and that of 100,000 other authors and self-publishers, whether it's helping them publish their first book, increase their earnings, learning how to do keywords, or even publishing various platforms. If I've given you some type of value, then do me a huge favor. I need to measure you. I need to kind of get the head count, if you will. 
How I'm gonna do that is over on my YouTube channel at dalelinks.com slash YouTube. And when you hit that subscribe, I'll be able to know exactly how many authors I've positively impacted this year. We're right on the right track. We're getting ready to break 40,000 subscribers in the next two weeks or less. So that means we got about a 60,000 subscribers to hit that goal for the end of the year. But I believe that if I've positively impacted your life, that you'll take a little bit of time out your day to go on over to dailylinks.com slash YouTube and hit subscribe as soon as humanly possible. All right. Is Tableau worth it? Whew. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Here we go. Let's talk about the pros. Okay, they've got ebook and they got two forms of print book. That's fantastic. And you get to collect 60% of your royalties regardless of the platform. I kind of like that. That's cool. I'm not sure how they work that out with each one of the distribution platforms. It has me scratching my head though to a certain extent because if you're distributing your ebook to say Amazon, how why aren't you getting 70%? Or is it that you can price it anywhere, it's 60%. I'm not sure how they worked out that deal. So there's that ambiguity, and this is gonna lead me over into what gets me hung up a little bit on Tableau is their transparency. That's the cons of this platform. There's not very much upfront transparency. I, I find myself being tenuous about Tableau where I would really love to try it out. They're subscription-based. That's my biggest apprehension. A lot of indie authors don't have $99 per year. They don't have $299 or even $499 per year to spare. And when there are other options out there that you can sacrifice a little bit of your royalty in exchange for distribution, there's less risk for you as an author. You're probably gonna go to these other platforms, but if you are somebody that has an established platform, and you know that you're gonna be able to make that $99 in a year, or that $299 or that $499, then chances are very likely Tableau might be for you. My other hang up here is I scoured the internet. I looked all over the web page. I tried to find everywhere other than reaching out to their support. To me, I don't think I need to reach out to support to ask something like this. I have no idea what their trim sizes are for their books. Like, okay, what type of print books do we have in paperback? Is it glossy, is it matte? Do I get cream colored paper or do I get white colored paper? What about the hardback? Is that gonna be perfect bound with glossy or matte covering? Do I get the same type of paper choice? Is there full color? I, I don't know any of this. And why? I got into the actual account. I went ahead, uploaded a test manuscript, and I went through the whole process. The first thing is, you could choose the free book cover design, but they won't let you use it until you pay. Like, what? Okay, I've gotta use that. I, I wanna use it, I wanna make sure it's worthwhile, and I've gotta spend $100 or say 300 or you know $500 in order to get that? I don't know the trim sizes. I've got to pay money to actually find out the trim sizes. Can you tell me what the sizes are? Because let's say I want to have a very specific size of book. I want to make sure that you have that available. I don't know that you have that available because you've got a paywall on the way. You don't have in a section that fully discloses these things. And that puts a little bit of a question mark over Tableau. And I hate to be wishy-washy with you folks too often because on one hand, when you've got someone like, say, the Alliance of Independent Authors that wholeheartedly gets behind you, you're a partner with them, and you have an excellent rating, that makes me go, okay, these guys are worthwhile. But then you've got a website, looks clean, it's great, it's well laid out, the ad copy is stellar, chef's kiss, mm, really good. Where's the information? You need to have an FAQ page so that people like me and other publishers that want to look into this avenue can have their questions answered and not have to reach out to your support. Because that extra layer of work means to me that you're having to, you're trying to vet out people, the tire kickers, if you will. Well, there are some people that legitimately want to know if I'm gonna spend $100 or $300 or $500 on your services, I wanna know everything that I get with that service. So here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna ride the fence. 
because I believe Tableau has something to offer, but they're gonna have to start to get a little bit more transparent, especially if they're asking for people to pay for stuff up front in order to use their services. Now, keep in mind that if you just wanna play around with the platform, you can go in there and play around with it all you want. You just can't publish anything until you pay. Hey, if you wanna check it out, go over to tableau.io. Again, that's T-A-B-L-O.io. It's not a referral or reference link. You can go ahead and take a look at it. It's of no consequence to me whether you join them or not. Um, let me know what you think about this. And hey, as we start to wrap up today's podcast, I just want to, of course, ask again, please subscribe or follow me on your preferred podcasting platform and leave a review. And if you're watching this on YouTube, leave me a comment. Next week, we're going to be jumping into yet another self-publishing online platform, but I'm going to keep you in the dark a little bit. I want to tease you just a little bit and just let you know that we're going to be making a segue over into a different type of distribution platform. You're going to find that next week. Till then, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I will chat with you next week.